Hey, hey, we're live. Happy Veterans Day. So if y'all just join in my story, I'm a out-of-town veteran that got stabbed right here and in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania by a local crony and had the entire establishment cover it up. Now, what's really insulting is that Gettysburg is the town in that the most American soldiers gave their lives for freedom. And uh, they've... Uh, you know, I have hadn't had a lot of support from the uh, upper, the ruling class in exposing uh, what they've covered up. So uh, I brought some handouts with me to try and spread the word. And I'll show you guys here. Uh, this is the copy of the police report where uh, I disarm this guy. And then he chases me down. I'm walking away and he chases me down and stabs me right there all right um so uh this is the district attorney office who's unnamed in here and the lawyer and the uh order granting motion to admit defendant into ard signed by judge thomas campbell now there's going to be a lot of police and a lot of uh, local cronies here that are complicit or complacent in hiding my stabbing. And <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, a little bit awkward, if you could say, because uh, this judge right here is going to be a guest speaker. And if you look down here in the evidence that I've collected right here by his sentence, giving ARD to a violent offender, someone that stabbed me, is only open to nonviolent offenders. And it's, uh, it's only granted if the arresting officer and the victims, if your case, don't object. So, down here, he also has to pay restitution. And a lot of the, uh, it's, I know I sound like a full-hatted veteran, but I, that's why I brought this. And if you can see how hard the uh, local cronies have tried to cover it up, this is State Rep. Dan Mao. He is going to be here. He knows about the district attorney's uh, illegal sentence. And I caught him on video. It's on the channel. You'll be able to see it here. I'll edit that in later. This is uh, State Representative Dan, or Senator, excuse me, State Senator Doug Mastriano. And this is where they say they acknowledge what happened, but I'm sorry he is a state, uh, rep or he's a, a state senator and not a county senator so the county breaking the state law is not his business to come in and investigate now um that's true these guys are just kind of being douchebags about turning a blind eye to it um but these guys down here are actually complicit and this is our uh county commissioners who they by common law uh, commonwealth pennsylvania law they are uh, in uh they are in charge of the common courts and this is the email I sent to them, local veteran stabbed and police cover up. And when I sent it, and it was before the judgment went through right here on the, for the illegal sentence, wiping it from my assailant's record. So this guy is a repeat violent firearms offender and he's walking around town armed. I got to bump into him armed in the grocery store. That's on the channel here. And lastly, this is the governor your message to Governor Tom Wolf, and it's explains in here complaint reform. And uh, so basically, um, this is a big state conspiracy to cover up a local crony stabbing an out of town veteran. And here's all the assistant documents to prove it. I'm here at the uh, Gettysburg's Day uh, Veterans Day event to try to await, raise awareness. Uh, with my local veterans. Uh, the papers have kind of been shy about printing this. Um, there's a lot of local uh, local mechanics at work. But literally at this point, there's about a dozen people trying to cover this up. And uh, like I said, there's going to be a bunch of uh, police officers here that know about this and are turning a blind eye to ones that are complicit. And even uh, State Rep Dan Mal, he's supposed to be here. And this guy right here, Judge Thomas Campbell, I believe he's going to be an honored speaker here. Um, so please, guys, uh, share my story. Try to help me get this out because this is locked. Pennsylvania is keeping this in-house. This is the what happens when I go to the cops and complain. Here is a private criminal complaint. Da-da-da-da-da. 
and you see where you fill that out and then you turn it into the office of the attorney for the Commonwealth. So the district attorney that hid my stabbing, the district attorney right here that gave this illegal sentence, offered it illegally because he's a violent offender, I have to turn this complaint form into that district attorney um, to uh, kind of dime himself out for hiding my stabbing. So we're going to go in here and try and raise support and uh, try to see what a lot of these guys got to say about hiding a local veteran getting stabbed. Stan, hey, I need your help, man. Man, I'm Jake Bilsma. I'm the local veteran that got stabbed and had the county cover it up. Dude, I'm doing a lot better now that I got your attention. Are you going to help me out with this? Yeah, well, here you go. I need, I, I need uh, people to raise awareness about this because it's so very illegal. So here you go. Here's a little cheat. I know. Well, I'm showing you how much I need help. I got stabbed. Look at this. Look at this. This is the criminal police report where I got stabbed. I got stabbed, right, by Glenn Kessler, a local crony who is a repeat violent farms offender. I did. I did. And you know what they do? I know. I need your help, buddy. Look, do you know what they do? They give me this form to turn into the judge, to the district attorney. So you've heard all about it. What have you done to help me, Stan Clark? You're my veterans rep. You can lean back in your chair in the commissioner's office and have, because they're legally in charge of the common courts. You can have them ask uh, the district attorney why he gave an illegal sentence to a violent offender. Come on, come help me. Let's go. I would appreciate you giving us the time for me to investigate this because you're not concerned that, that uh, this guy got away from stabbing me? Yeah, well, it's in the news. I mean, I, that's why I was trying to get a hold of you online about it. But you blocked me. I don't understand. You never got back to me. Because you blocked me. Well, who do we got? Hey, Commissioner File. Sheriff Muller, how y'all doing? How you doing, gents? I was wondering if y'all had a moment to help out a veteran that got stabbed here in Gettysburg and had the entire establishment covered up. I think we've already covered Well, I don't know. Here's the police criminal report where a violent offender... Uh, stabbed me, chased me down, and the uh, the state police lost two CCTVs of it, and then they didn't charge him with stabbing me with attempted murder. And here's Judge Thomas Campbell. No, it hasn't. I really need your help, Sheriff. Well, maybe you want to come at a different time. Yes, sir. Um, if you want to speak to the sheriff, his office is open. Well, come, Mr. Sheriff, I, there's a violent offender that stabbed me. To please cease and desist. Of what? Of making a, any kind of plea or any kind of... Uh, uh, well, I'm seeking support here, from, have, from local veterans because I'm an out-of-town veteran and I got stabbed and the county broke the law to cover it up. Speak to us at a meeting mm -hmm. or at an executive board meeting. This, is, this day is set aside... Out of respect to veterans who have lost their lives. And I'd be dead if I didn't disarm this guy from his pistol. I am. I will not. Sheriff, would you mind giving me a moment of your time? Because you have legal jurisdiction here. Howdy, bud. Thanks. Happy Veterans Day. All right, Sheriff, so you have jurisdiction here in this county, right? You have criminal jurisdiction, everything you have to do. Well, I'm about to show you. I have a little cheat sheet here. You can have this. Yeah, that's all right. I got you. All right, well, I'll, so, so everyone watching can see. This is the police report where I got chased down and stabbed after disarming the, whole, the dude. I read the whole thing. I right, and you see here where this is Glenn Kessler, and here's the motion ordering to grant him into ARD by Judge Thomas Campbell. And here's where ARD, it's only open to nonviolent offenders. Sorry, you can use your words too, man. I thought you couldn't see it. No, I can see it. All right. Well, this is only open to nonviolent offenders, and that's only if the officer and I agree, which I don't. And I called up the uh, the Veterans Assistance Office or the Domestic Violence Office, and they denied me restitution, which that's required as well. 
So uh, I've made a lot of complaints to everybody, uh, including here, you know, Representative Dan Mao, who's supposed to be here today, uh, Senator Doug Mastriano, um, the county commissioners, who they know that it's illegal to give him that sentence. And this is the time before he got it, and it passed through on, on, uh, on you know, election day, kind of squeaked it through. And then here's even where I told the governor. So I do. I, I actually have contacted the police and lawyers and whatnot, and they give me... They refuse to make a uh, criminal complaint because for ARD to get granted in the state, um, the district attorney had to break the law. Judge Thomas Campbell had to break the law to approve it. And this defense lawyer, Patrick Quinn, he had to break the law because he, he, he knows about it. So that's criminal conspiracy. And uh, that's that blatant right there. And anytime I talk to the police, they have this private criminal complaint form and you have to turn it into the district attorney who is the guy who's illegally gave the sentence. So I have to, the police won't uh, make a criminal complaint and neither will uh, the district attorney. They're not gonna fill this form. Yeah, they don't the do that. The district attorney isn't gonna make a complaint. There's nothing I can do or anybody can do. You, you absolutely do. can. Yeah. You have law enforcement uh, capabilities He's in the, the entire county. He's the one that's gonna do it. If he says I'm not doing it, there's nothing I can do. So, yes, there is. You can make a police criminal complaint. It doesn't matter. He says he's not going to prosecute. He's not going to do anything with it. But you can make that criminal complaint, right? I probably can make a complaint, yeah. So would you do that for me? Because this is, this is, I got to bump into this guy around town. He stabbed me. Well, I'll have to check out when I get back to work here. So you will. I mean, because I got your, I sent you an email a while ago really asking for your help, and I didn't hear anything about it. All the law enforcement around here got that. And I don't know who this Glenn Kessler is tied into. I mean, I know several ways. He's got ties into some fraternal organizations. I know he's got family that used to pick our police up in town, something with like some social service board. And I believe that's why this guy got away with stabbing me. And if I showed you just all the, everything that I've been through, just like trying to get justice, because I'm not even justice. I don't even really want the money. I don't want any restitution. I want this guy that stabbed me in jail because it's a blatant conspiracy right here. And then the judge and the district attorney, they broke the law. That is criminal conspiracy. More people, more than one person breaks the law, they conspire to do it, criminal conspiracy. That's three people right here that broke the law. So I'd really appreciate your help. I can check into it tomorrow and see what it's all about. Well, here, do you want one of these? No, I, I got the complaints up there. You got the complaints up there. And why haven't you done anything about it? I've, I've read them. Well, why haven't you done anything about it? I already told you about it. Why? The DA has the final word on it. He says he's not going to prosecute or do anything with it, and you're wasting your time. Sending a so the like DA that. not admitting that he broke the law is I'm totally okay with you. And that's that allows me to go bump into the guy that stabbed me. I'm not saying the DA is admitting anything. I'm just saying the DA has refused to prosecute. Right. And that's his prerogative. So if uh, the DA refuses to prosecute himself, what's my next step on, on uh, exposing getting stabbed and having the county cover it up? There again, I'd have to check and see what the next step for you would be. If he doesn't want to do anything. Oh, uh, I mean... I'm sure you can see what the higher force. Right, but no one will even acknowledge it. It's well, criminal. It's a criminal act. It's a well, criminal complaint. They won't even acknowledge it. There's nothing I can do, but you have uh, county police authority, arrest authority in the entire county as a Commonwealth sheriff. You can arrest these guys and charge them for, for criminal conspiracy. You can arraign them. You can do that. And you can let the district attorney deny it. And then that'll be on him. This is the same thing that I've gotten from the state police who did the same exact thing. So that doesn't bother you that they broke the law? Well, what can, there's nothing you can do to help me then. No, not really. Even though you know they broke the law and you have arrest authority here in the county. Well, it's all right here, man. If you got there, I, that doesn't prove to me that they, they broke the law. Well, here it says Glenn Kessler stabs me after I disarm him. And then here it says he got ARD by Judge Thomas Campbell. So no, that's up to the judge and the DA. And right, but then these guys to make that sentence Look, go right through. Now, right now, I'm going to go back to the ceremony. I can here for that reason to represent. You know what I mean? Dude, I would be one of these guys that's dead. You'd be having a ceremony for if I didn't disarm this guy of his pistol. That could, be, that could very well be. 
And anything. everything's just totally nonchalant about uh, about what transpired. I mean, no. this guy's I still got to bump into him. Have you seen the video of what it's like for me to bump into him at the grocery store? No? I'm, I'm going back over here. Well, I mean, thanks for showing everyone at home the assistance I get here in Adams County, Mr. Sheriff. Would you stop to help out a local veteran that got stabbed and had the county covered up? I am a local veteran. I, thanks, I'm buddy. I appreciate it. Yes. No, thanks. Can I have this? Yeah. Well, yeah, for a moment. I, oh, I'm no, trying to I, pass it around. Yes, like please. Reader. Absolutely. Thank you. Up here, I'm going to follow I'm with you. I'm retired law enforcement. Yes. Oh, yeah. I definitely need your help. But can you do me a favor? And one yes. Veteran to another? Yes. Don't do it today, right now. Don't what? This is, I'm not bothering anybody. I'm seeking don't, support. But don't disturb the service. That's all I'm Oh, I am absolutely not disturbing okay. the service. I'm here getting help from my fellow veterans. Okay. I'm an out-of-town veteran, and I got stabbed by a local crony, and they the entire establishment heard, covered it up. I I right. I yeah. I mean, it's right here. It's I After I disarmed the dude, he chased me down with two knives and stabbed me, and... So that's Dan Mal. He knows about it. I got him. He, he knows about the district attorney breaking the law. This is uh, State Senator Mastriano. He says the county breaking the law is not a state issue. No, oh, it isn't, but that's the problem. You have to go to the attorney general on this. Right, right. And you know what else is that I talked to, uh, I, I talked to the state internal affairs, police internal affairs, and they said that if either of these guys were to tell him to go ahead and investigate, that they'd do it. All right, how about you? Yeah, they, they don't respond. So then also these guys, the county commissioners right here, mm -hmm. uh, this is an email sent two weeks before uh, my assailant gets his illegal sentence. Mm -hmm. And so they're actually know about this. They've never responded. Whatever Commissioner File said right there was just completely bogus. They've never responded because this is actually incriminating to them. They knew about an illegal sentence before it went through. And as commissioners in the Commonwealth, they're in charge of the common courts. So I think this is what that loop that we get held down here in. So then also, the, I try to tell it to the police. And here's the... Well, it's out of their hands. And well, Once no, it's... the police report is done, that's over. Right, right, right. But what they can do is they can investigate the conspiracy. Because to give this guy this sentence with Judge Thomas Campbell right here... He had to, these three guys had to conspire to break the law. And that's something that absolutely the police can investigate. They haven't looked into it at all. And it's really, it's just damning for the police that, that are in town. Like I said, one veteran to another. I, absolutely. No, thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. This is for everybody. Right. Mr. Mao, State Representative Dan Mao, you never got back to me about uh, the district attorney bra breaking the law. I'm not going to either. Why is that? Because of you secretly filming me one time and then sabotaging me. In public? Secretly filming you? Sabotaging you? Tell me that you have me on film and I didn't say anything. You, made me, you tried to make me look bad so you could take your You spoke. And turn around and go somewhere else. Uh, you, I, this I, is the support that I get from for getting support, stabbed. That's the in there. Gettysburg. That's between you and the district attorney. It, this is this is where he lawyer. broke the law. That's between you and the district attorney. How I'm not making a scene here. I'm looking for help from my dist for, from my state representative. I, there's nothing I can do. I'm you can call the state police. Attorney. You can call the state police I'm and the state police. they said that if you called, no, they, they would investigate. No, they didn't. Yeah, Trooper I'm Matthew Barrett did. Well, I have the phone. Do you want to talk to him? No. Why not? Because I'm not going to get in, in the middle of this. this I know you're not. Well, I'm a state representative. I don't do criminal investigation. That's a really well prepared speech, but one of your veterans got stabbed, and the guy ha that stabbed me is still walking district. around. You should go see the district attorney. Uh, yeah, he do, right, right, I do. Well, you know what? He broke the law, and here's the form I got to show him where he broke the law, and he just wants nothing to do with it. And you want me to do what about it? Call the state internal affairs and have them investigate. They do. I talked to Trooper Matthew Barrett. I have his phone number if you want to get it. You can, uh, What's up, buddy? You can do whatever you want, but I'm, I'm not So me getting stabbed and the honor guest speaker. What did I lie about? I got stabbed and... What are you talking about? Yeah. Everything is out in the open. I'm sorry? That's as far as we go. With what? 
anything not addressing the district that's attorney correct. breaking the law well, that's as a veteran but you show up at a lot of these veterans events and uh and you show your support for veterans why don't you show your support for this ve out of town veteran that's a, they got that's stabbed that's by criminal investigation. right Okay, so you, you're not going to talk to the district attorney. You, you're not concerned that one of your veterans got stabbed and the guy that did it is running around. I don't know the incident. You don't know the incident? It's right here. I got, it's right here. I got. Well, you can talk to the district attorney and tell him, like, dude, why'd you pass this illegal sentence? No, you can go talk to him and say, dude, why'd you pass this illegal sentence on my veteran that got stabbed? Judge Thomas Campbell is going to be here, too. You can ask him. I would appreciate it. He is, you go ask him. Right. I know. And there's there's Commissioner Randy File. And he he knew about my illegal sentence before it happened, too. That's, that's between you and him. Right. 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 Well, uh, I'm, I'm seeking your help as my state representative. You can call the internal affairs. That's out of my scope of authority. It is out of your scope of authority to care that one of your veterans got stabbed. There's nothing you can do. It's not a criminal investigation. They stopped it. They pulled it. I'm bothering you. I'm bothering. This is Bev Frey. This is Senator Mastriano's aide, I believe. Uh. Hey, what's up, gents? How you doing? So I'm pretty. Hey, man, I'm glad you're here. There's a. Can we talk over here so we don't disturb their Yeah, sure. Let's. Let's. Yeah. D dude, there, there is a criminal showing up here going to talk to people today. Yes. I came prepared. All right, man. So I'm Sergeant Pruy. Right. On the behalf of the Legion, because mm -hmm. this is private property, okay? right. uh -huh. they have asked for us to ask you to leave. Really? They have, yeah. Okay. And then you know I'm the, a member, right? I, so that's something you would have to address with the Legion management. We have mm -hmm. no say in that, okay? Okay. The Legion manager, who identified himself as being the manager here, has uh -huh. asked us to ask you to leave. Well, I don't know if he understands that I am also a member. So that's, again, an issue that you would have to address with the Legion. That's not something that we can address for you. Here gotcha. Today. Okay, well, sorry. Hey, while I got your attention, uh, I'd like to report a crime. Dude, there's a criminal. Here, check this out. Check this out. I got it all right up for you. There's a criminal about to go up there. Yeah, He's in your jurisdiction right now. This, uh huh. This is something I'm sure many people have already told you. You're going to have to address with the district attorney. No, 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 no. Nobody's ever charged Judge Thomas Campbell. He's right over there. He's going to go up and start speaking. So that would be for the state's attorney. If you haven't. No, 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 no. You absolutely, you have jurisdiction in this town. And that guy broke the law in this but, town when he passed but, an illegal but, sentence. But we have nothing to do with sentencing. Or right. I know, I know you don't, but you do but have with criminal something. conspiracy. You can charge him with so criminal that's conspiracy. That's something you're going to have to take up with the adjutant general of Pennsylvania. That is not something that we can help you. You absolutely can charge people with criminal conspiracy. And look, so then you're going to give me this form. Let me see. Hold on. You're going to give me this form, which is a private criminal complaint that I then have to turn into the district attorney. That's from the state police. Right, 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 right. So you can do that if you wish to do that. Right, so that... That's the way you're going to have to go about doing it. Right, so I turn it into the district attorney that broke the law. He's going to, he's going to file a complaint against himself. So, again, that is something that we cannot investigate. You can't charge. You absolutely this can charge. This happened inside your jurisdiction, it's and it's a criminal office. complaint inside your jurisdiction. So they told you the means to how to do that, right? They right. Said, okay, here, if you have this issue, here's how you need to address that issue. Right. right. I'm going to tell you the same thing. Uh-huh. If, if you want this to get investigated, you're going to have to take it through the proper channel. We are not the proper channel. Today. Right. Well, the proper channel is to kick it back to the DA with this form and then the DA can make a criminal complaint against the DA right there and nothing happens. So then you could take it one step higher and which would be the AG's office. Yeah. Oh okay. man. Yeah. He, I'm in emails with the guy right now so and he's be, denying it. That, but that is going to be your best bet is to address it through the AG's office. But one of your veterans got stabbed in this town and an illegal so sentence it, got passed. It didn't happen in the town. Oh, it didn't. Walmart is not within the borough jurisdiction. Oh, so you're, that's, that makes it okay then. I'm not saying that makes it Okay, that that makes it not bother you that it happened like five feet over that way. That a crime here in is not 
a crime did happen here in Gettysburg because this judge in get the town of Gettysburg gave conspired to give an illegal okay. sentence. Again, that's something you're going to have to address with the AG's office. That is not something we can address for. That is. That is a criminal complaint that you can investigate right so, now. Here's where we're at. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, you're going to have to leave uh -huh. okay, because they've asked you to leave. Right. And your other issues, you're going to have to address with the AG's office. That is not something that I can address for you here today. I understand. Okay. Well, thank you for showing the way Gettysburg's treated this out-of-town veteran, bro. This is great. Right, this so is this is even better. Walk off oh, I'm gonna walk right over here to the public spot. Ba -da 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 -da. Can film from sidewalks. Even the uh, the local cronies can kick you out of where they want to go. Guess what? There is a sidewalk right here, and we can film. Ba -da. See what I meant about I win, you lose. That was a trap. Hey guys, give me some thumbs up. Look at these guys. Kick me out for getting stabbed. And they're gonna raise this flag right here. Then they're gonna have a guest speaker. After they raise this flag, after they kicked out a veteran that got stabbed, they're going to have a guest speaker that passed an illegal sentence to hide his stabbing. This is just so, this is just so representative of the town of Gettysburg. Is that Doug Mastriano? Oh man, is, it, is that him? Is that our state rep? I didn't know he was going to be here. I think he's got that little funny fake cowboy hat on. Oh, wait. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Look at all that salad on his chest. That dude never saw a day of combat. Look at all that shit on his chest, man. The guy was a military intelligence guy, which, you know, hey, man, more power to you. But uh, that's why he reverts to his training anytime that something goes down. That's a... Uh, you gotta call the real men in to deal with. But -da, -da, da how about this? Public sidewalk. Ain't this just representative of Gettysburg? I got kicked out. Well, if you guys, I would have been gone a long time ago if you would have just upheld the law. Wouldn't have to be dealing with me right now. Bust out all your local dirtbag politicians. Again, you guys, please, I need help sharing this story, getting it out. This is uh, like the Epstein thing that, uh, uh, you know, it had to break peer to peer. So the news won't carry this. They're, they're shut up. The whole state's complicit in it. I actually have a racketeering lawsuit going against the state because I can't, you know, I'm not a law enforcement officer or a district attorney. I can't make criminal charges. Um, so I su I'm suing them uh, uh, fiscally, civilly because they're very uncivil people. You guys wouldn't believe, I'm telling you, now that I became a, a civil activist, because, you know, I kicked my own ass 10 years ago for being a civil activist right now, um, but it's, it's real. Like, this happens all over the place and all the time. I started a local job exposing corruption, and I can't even keep up with the cases. Like, there's literally half a dozen jaw-dropping cases that I've investigated, and include the same... The same uh, <laughs> The same uh, police officer that didn't charge a dude with stabbing me and lost uh, a Walmart CCT, two Walmart CCTVs of it. That good dude lost childhood sexual assault pictures to throw a case uh, locally for his buddy. And I mean, it's an investigation video. I did it on the channel. Nobody watches it and it took me forever. I, oh my gosh, it took me forever. So I have all these investigation videos ready to go. I have all the information collected. But uh, I'm at the point where I'm running a lawsuit, I'm running a channel, I'm trying to live my life, I'm trying to move on, and uh, I'm developing. I'm actually shooting for a documentary. This is You're going to see some parts in this. Um, I'm hoping it'll be like the next Tiger King, man. I'm way more, I don't know if I'm as entertaining as Joe Exotic, but, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man, I would so play him. I'm kind of pissed they picked, uh, uh, what's his name, to play that shit, man. That part was made for me. You guys got to start a... Start a kick fun campaign. Let me go play Joe Exotic in the TV show. Did you guys count all the people that came running to help me? Did you count them all? 
I actually had that one dude who was really cool, man. He stuck up for what he thought I was crashing the place that he saw what I was doing. He stood up for me. That was pretty cool. I was, but of course he's not from around here. <laughs> that was great. Ah, uh, man, the military is not part of the devil's work. There's a lot of normal people that go in there. You know, it's just like an organization, just like anywhere else. You know, there's good and bad people. And uh, man, you'll meet a whole bunch of walks of life you never thought you would. It's because you're living in such close proximity. And you know what? You develop an appreciation for it. You know, I, I'm, I'm a little redneck boy from Appalachia, and my first deployment was uh, into South Korea, and I loved it. And it just changed who I was from after that. There's, there's Senator Doug Mastriano. If you look, this dude straight up, I caught him running away from me on the channel. It's like Dan Mao said that I tricked him into saying things on video. I don't know what he was so mad and then he was telling me to go away. And there he goes. Senator Doug Mastriano knows all about me getting stabbed. And all he's got to do is tell the police I hate. But all that money that he spent getting in here. And, you guys got to watch my investigation video and the throwing child uh, sexual assault pics. This, this guy makes an appearance in here. He actually uh, got elected midterm, like an emergency election, because the last Senator Alloway, he abdicated or whatever midterm uh, because he wouldn't go along with the corruption in town. They, uh, there was a big HUD fraud case going on here and it kind of got swept under the rug at the same time uh, that the, they kind of threw, lost a bunch of evidence, threw it out and uh, at the same time the state rep, state senator abdicated. At the same time the children and youth director abdicated and uh he wouldn't go along with the corruption because he's actually a decent guy. Seemed even for a lawyer, <laughs> it grossed out the lawyers. So of course the party had to find a Manchurian candidate, and here comes Mastriano. I can't even make this up. Y'all, y'all gotta watch my investigation video. It's got Epstein's face on it. These cops uh, bent their necks around, looking the other way of me getting stabbed. So I did an investigation for them. And turned out that they break their necks turning on a blind eye to some really nasty stuff. And that's why we should end qualified immunity. Because uh, seriously, there's good cops out there. My brother's a good dead cop. He was a good dude. He was a volunteer firefighter, EMT, had most saves in sports. I mean, he was like classic fucking country, small town, good cop, man. And uh, so I, I'm very aware that there's good cops. But also... They get put in bad positions um, because there is quali there's qualified immunity. So if they rat their boys out, nothing's going to happen and they're just going to lose their positions being known as the rat. So to actually help law enforcement, the good guys, we need to give them the power to avoid reciprocation uh, through qualified immunity. So if basically, if we ended qualified immunity, the good cops, which have, are 99%, right? Yeah, then they could turn in the 1% bad cop for breaking the law and be like, oh, dog, if I didn't turn you in, like, I'd go to jail and lose my job. And, you know, my kids would have to visit me through a piece of glass. Well, you saw the sheriff right there. He's a nom vet, and they, they pomp and pride that all around. You saw him turn a blind eye to all this stuff. Isn't this just, like, serendipitous that their backs are turned towards me? All one of them had to do was be like, what? Oh, my gosh, man, that's crazy. You got stabbed? What? The guy that did it got away with it? What? One of our judges is the guest speaker here today? What? You know, did you guys hear one of those? The only one that actually stuck up. He stuck, he stuck his neck up in my face because he thought I was being disrespectful, which was awesome. You know? <laughs> but then he heard what I had to say and was like, wait, what the shit? So, uh, but again, he was from Harrisburg. And all these guys know who I am. I broadcast this days ahead of time to try and garner viewers. And uh, so they all have their thing they're all prepped to say. But they said it on video. It was pretty cool. And then they got the cops to come kick us off. And uh, then 
we went to plan B. I win, you lose. Now, now I get to film y'all turning your backs on me. How serendipitous. This is Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, y'all, where the most soldiers laid their lives for freedom. That Gettysburg police sergeant you saw, he knew. <laughs> he knew what I'm up to. He's dealt with me plenty of times. He knows he's not going to get one over. Or at best, he's going to look not awful, which was, that was his job right there. Try to cover up a veteran getting stabbed. They're reading off names right now of veterans that have passed and I don't know if they'd even be reading off mine if I just turned over and let dude stab and shoot me. So this is all these veterans, all these names that they're reading off, all in respect of fellow veterans. And here's their veteran that almost died from one of their local cronies who's not a veteran stab. Do you see guys see my fish hook? Don't come through. And here's them turning their backs on the veteran that uh, one of their cronies stabbed. And all anyone has to do is the right thing. And not one of them is. So again, everybody, I would greatly appreciate if you shared this story because it's unbelievable. Everyone that's been watching so far has seen it. This is how small town corruption happens and they own the local press. So this has to go around, this has to get shared. All these names that they're reading off right now in respect of veterans. And here's one standing behind them, got stabbed and they're all capable of doing something about it. This is how small town corruption happens. And all y'all saw that. I mean, hey, if you guys have friends that uh, believe that police won't turn a blind eye to something egregious, show them this. <laughs> show them the police veterans that uh, are complicit or complacent in this. They show these guys uh, kicking me off their property so I can... Um, <laughs> So I can film them turning their backs on me, literally. Boop, boop, boop. Literally, see? That was like almost planned, wasn't it? It's like, uh, I win, you lose. It's the way we play the game with Adams County. I don't poop without knowing it's gonna land on some piece of shit. Deserves it. I just literally hold the camera up and let people look like shit themselves. And they're, they're super we're pissed about it. did you see dan mal over there you, you you were secretly videotaping me like oh in public what do you what, what, you say something you were embarrassed about did you say you were going to investigate the district attorney giving them an illegal sentence did you give me an email back where you were victim shaming me for the like 104 years where the fake charges the county put on me i mean that's all documented this is uh this is what really happens in america y'all and this is why we got to end qualified immunity I mean, you just literally saw a town officially band together on video to quash a veteran's uh, attempted murder. I mean, this is, this is literally everybody. Boom, get some good shots. They are playing taps for American justice and ideals. That's how America dies, one small town at a time. So, all right, y'all, I think we about made our message. Uh, if you want to look on my channel and see any of the other stuff these guys are hiding or any of the other stuff these guys run away scared, uh, that'll be great.
Uh, appreciate your heads up. Please share exactly what uh, happened today. And uh, yeah, this story needs to get out. This is uh, how small town hides corruption. Appreciate it, y'all. I'll be around. Watch for the uh, full documentary. I'll be a little while out, but uh, it's happening. We're going to get things moving. We got a lot of help down there in Houston. And uh, things are going to be moving forward in a lot more than just some YouTube channel kind of way. So appreciate it, y'all. Boom. We... You want to see my ugly mug? So, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, appreciate all the heads up. Share. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, try to get this story out because it's it's not going to break without uh, peer to peer sharing. It's, this is a you, I got the local Epstein job on my channel, and uh, yeah, none of them are. None, n nothing's happening about it. So uh, please share, get the story out, and uh, appreciate your time, y'all. Peace. <laughs>